hey guys welcome back to my channel today's look is going to be on this half cut crease eye look if you follow me on other social medias you've seen this exact look already so here is the tutorial for that so if you would like to see how i got this just keep on watching so i'm first going to prep my eyelids with the maybelline fit me concealer and then with any setting powder, I'm just going to set that concealer before it starts to crease. Now with Raw Sienna from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm going to use this as my transition color. And I'm going to blend this in with a Zoeva 228 brush. Then with Swiss Chocolate from MAC, I'm going to blend this into my crease and pretty much directly on top of that Raw Sienna shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can see the difference between this eye and this eye when we added this Swiss Chocolate shade over here. That transition color is very important because it helps you have a better blend than if you would have just put on the Swiss Chocolate without the transition color. Next with Love Letter from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm going to put this in the outer portion of my eye and in the crease. And I'm going to apply this with a MAC 217 brush. Now to do this kind of look, you want a brush that's a similar size to this or maybe even shorter. But you also want to make sure that it's dense, like not super fluffy, just something that's going to help you create a sharp line. This is actually my favorite part. <laughs> so we did all of that blending and now we're going to use this concealer to cut that crease. And I'm only doing half a crease because I said it's a half cut crease. I'm gonna show you guys where you need to stop for the half cut crease. You wanna make sure that you actually look towards the mirror so that when you use the concealer to cut it, you cut it like right above where your eyelid folds if you have the same eye shape as me. And that's so people can actually see what you've done. <laughs> See your fierceness so I'm stopping about right here and I'm going to use other eyeshadows to blend that so stop right under the arch of your eyebrow so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now with a MAC 217 brush I'm going to take the shadow get lucky from Colourpop and pack this on top of the concealer now I want to say that I did not set this concealer I'm using the concealer as a tacky base for this eyeshadow to stick onto. Now we're going to blend out these edges with Love Letter from the Anastasia palette. And for lashes, I'm using Goddess Lashes from Lily Lashes. So all done with eyes, now we're going to move into our face makeup. I'm going to switch up the face makeup that I did when I did this look the first time. So it's going to be different than the details that you guys saw on Instagram. So for my foundation, I'm using the Urban Decay One and Done Foundation. Then for concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Medium Neutral. And now I'm going to set the concealer using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And then to set my face, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder Foundation. For bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer.
For highlight, I'm going to mix two together. I'm using Becca Champagne Pop and Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. And then for blush, I'm using Strike from ColourPop Cosmetics. For lips, I'm going to line them with Urban Decay 24-7 Lip Liner in the shade Hex. And then fill in the center with the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Back Talk. And that is the completed look. I promise you guys it's a lot easier than it looks once you sit down and you just try. I am crossing my fingers that by the time I post this video, I will be at 10,000 subscribers. If that is the case, I just want to thank you guys so, so much for helping me get to 10,000 subscribers. Today is Friday, so tomorrow, Saturday, is my YouTube anniversary. I have been doing this for two years tomorrow, and it has been amazing. The ups and downs, the how I was doing my makeup in the beginning versus how I do it now. It's just, I'm so happy that I've been able to make it this far, and I can't wait till I hit like 100,000 subscribers. That'll be amazing. But yes, you guys, thank you so, so much for your support support you guys give me to keep doing these videos with that being said thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe to keep yourself updated on my new videos and i promise i'll see you guys next time bye guys